Yo, what's up? Before we jump on into this reaction, dude, go on over to twitch.tv slash johnsloppreacts and leave a follow if you want to catch all these live streams where we record these reactions. And go on over to patreon.com slash johnslop to submit your favorite songs for me to listen to. And you can help support the channel as well. Appreciate you. Let's jump on into the video. Uh, so yeah, let's move on into our next request, dude. Something from LS. What do we got? John 5, the werewolf of Westeria. LSD-oriented TV. <laughs> Honestly, that's kind of, yeah, what a lot of, like, fantasy cartoons are. It's just, like, it, your mind has to go to some places in order to, like... But again, Frank Zappa never did drugs, and he was able to crank out what he did. So, you know, it's not always drug-related. All right, we got John 5. We've listened to a few tracks before. Here we are with the track The Werewolf of Westeria. Never heard this one off the album The Devil Knows My Name. From 2014. Dude, let's jump on into it. The Werewolf of Westeria. Cannibal. Living monster. Wow, I hate to pause it, but we got to talk about it. This is amazing. Insane build up. This is some of the coolest. It felt very new metal. It feels very new metal, uh, but it's it's quickly just going more into like you know, uh, maybe I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know. More of a heavy. Uh, gosh. What would you call this? What 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 genre? It feels I don't know. Let's just keep it going, dude. Let's just keep it going, see where it goes.
yeah another pause real quick guys this is almost like the chanting is giving a very almost ritualistic vibe of this like uh yeah no this is kind of like a new genre for me it's very metal it's very like uh maybe even a little new metal metal core ish um but that doesn't really matter i'm having a great time and yeah some of these uh overlapping guitars dude are creating some of the craziest uh sequences i've heard like somebody mentioned it sounds sinister it sounds like we're in hell dude that's where i'm imagining we're at dude we're in hell chanting with the demons we are demons Dude, let's keep it going. Dude, dude, dude! Wow, I I hate to pause it in the middle of the solo, but we gotta we gotta talk about what we just heard, dude. Giving me a little bit of Tom Morello, maybe even some Jack White, dude. This is some crazy manipulation. That was I've never heard a guitar be able to make noise like that before. Holy crap! Let's just take it back a little bit. See if we can catch some of that again, dude. And then we'll keep it rolling. But wow. He took this in a direction I did not even imagine. This is, yeah, this is I don't, progressive soloing. Like, what do you even call this? Wow. We've already gone through like three different character, like solos, dude. Three different sounding solos in the span of like three minutes. Let's see. Let's just get back into it. Wow. John 5, uh, the song is The Werewolf of Westeria. What do y'all think? 
Yeah, no, like this is this is this is obviously way above Tom Morello, but like Tom Morello is kind of the only one I've heard personally that can do some manipulating like this, like, you know, anywhere close. Uh uh Adrian Bellu. Oh, we need to check out some more Bellu. And uh, that's Adrian, right? Yeah, no, this this is no. Like technically, he's also like pr very, very proficient. Quick, quick fingers, you know. Let's get back into this, guys. I'm just so stunned. Dude, is this straight up that riff from that one song? What is that? Uh, Faith No More? Is this... Is that... Hold on. Yeah, is this... Is this epic, dude? Like... Hold on a second. Okay, no, we're not going to play the song yet. Maybe we'll take a listen to the song after. We'll do a little, but dude, this is sick. You oh, you got to get up early. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ford, for hanging out. Really appreciate you. Dude, let's just jump back on into this track. This is great.
Wow. Sick buildup. That was sick. And I know it's going to go into another track, right? I like that outro a lot. It was different. It was a whole new vibe. This was like so many songs in one song. Dude. This felt big. Like a, maybe a Devin Townsend track inspired a little bit as well. Also, I didn't mention Buckethead. Dude, if, if y'all don't... Industrial metal. That's very good. That's a very good genre to uh, help place this. It, it's it's very fitting. Uh, I think that's a good place to start. We can build from there. Um, dude, yeah, this entire track was just uh, trying to keep us on our toes, not make us feel comfortable. Constantly changing up. Uh, you know, the chanting. It was like... <laughs> If it felt like we were, we were demons. It felt like we were along for the ride. So it, it didn't feel like we were being threatened or anything. It's just like, damn, I didn't kind of, I didn't sign up for this. I didn't, I didn't sign up to become a demon, but I'm glad <laughs> we got to experience it. <laughs> no, I, I, I did sign up. I'm happy we experienced it. Uh, again, good night, Fords. Peace, dude. Uh. You should offer the ability to gong a song for a tip. Can you elaborate on that? What is that? Um, to gong song? Like, uh, does that mean just... Yeah, what would, what would gonging a song entail? Um, cut the song. Oh, jeez. Oof. Uh, jeez, I don't know about that. Every, every my my first instinct is like that's that's just not cool. Why would I want to cut off people's songs? You know. Now for the right price, dude. I'm sure even. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding, dude. 200 bucks and you cut off a song how about that because <laughs> no dude no i don't honestly i know maybe a couple instances where people might want to cut a song but <laughs> uh but no no i don't think we'll we'll incorporate that That sounds like maybe uh, something that would be yeah, have to have an egregious price, right? That would make it that would make it worth it. But uh, uh, but dude, um, my last thoughts on this one, dude. Uh, um, also, I am down to listen to Marilyn Manson as long as you guys. No, I don't support the person, Marilyn Manson. Right? So I don't care for for that front, front man dude, whatever his name is. I know he's actually called Marilyn Manson now. Like that's that's his that's his title, that's his name. But I'm down to check it out for John Five, you know. For the uh, other aspects of the music, again, Buckethead. That's what I was going to mention, dude. We got to check out some Buckethead. If you guys don't know what Buckethead is or who Buckethead is, he's a pretty cool guitarist in the same vein as uh, this Tom Morello. Uh, Adrian Bellew, 